Hi folks, I got an electric transit bus battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and show how it's done. You can see here's the positive and negative outputs. There's a big plug and some other plugs that operate some fans and stuff and there's a big ground cable. This pack here I believe is 640 volts so it's very dangerous at a very very high amperage rate. So it's actually very dangerous and very risky. So the first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the top lid, this top lid portion, and then these side pieces on both sides. This thing here is a filter. This part is a filter that comes off to make these bolts here more accessible. And these here come off simply by turning these and a little spring loaded will pop it out and you go around and you just turn those all of them until they pop out and then this filter here will just come right off I'll show you the other side it's already off I took taking it off okay so I'm going to remove this one here along with the other one on the other side and the top cover and then I'll come back to you and show you the inside of it and a dismantling of it further. Okay, here's those side covers removed. There is a plug that you that needs to get disconnected. And what this plug operates is this here. This is a shutter. Closes it off. There's one on each side. Same, same idea. Okay, the top cover is off, and those side panels are off. And this is now what it looks like. Now at this point here, there's some serious high voltage along with some serious amperage. Just to give you an idea what kind of amperage we're talking about, you can see on this pack right here. You see it says right down there, it says 40 volts, current 2250 amps. That's just the one module, the one pack. All these packs are hooked up in series, equaling, I believe it's 640 volts. That's where the danger is, is in that high voltage. Not each pack. Each pack don't possess much danger, but being hooked up in series, it's extremely dangerous. And this is uh, quite dusty. Looks like their filters weren't changed enough, or just not too sure how it got so dirty inside here. And you can see here, here's some cooling fans. This side here, as far as I'm concerned, is the very dangerous side. Now there's a plastic cover. There's a plastic cover here. And behind that cover is where all the connections are. And there's bolts that hold it on on the top portion of it. And then once those bolts are off, this plastic piece comes right out. And there's one on each side. Another one on this side. So I'm going ahead and going to remove this side's plastic cover. That side is the side to the right of the connectors. So looking at the battery this way, it's on the right side. 
because that's the side I'm going to disconnect first. I believe that's the safest way of going about it. All right, that plastic protector cover is now removed, and you can see here there are the joiners plates, joining plates, and this side here I'm going to dis connect those joiner plates being careful of course and you can see it's either a flathead screwdriver or a star head Phillips head and they turn like so and then they kind of pop out and the reason why I'm doing this side here is I want to disconnect the series hookup so the voltage automatically drops as soon as these connecting plates are removed it's no longer holding the high voltage as it was so once I have all these connector plates disassembled on this side it's a lot much much more safer to be around and to work with. And um, I'm not working with any metal in hand. There's an isolation between me and this battery. And there's a reason for that. Now you can see that joiner plate is removed. So that is no longer hooked up with a series connection. I will finish doing the rest of these and then I will move over to the other side and show you the other side. All right, all those connector plates are removed. You can see them laying there on the edge. Some more over here. No more joined up from pack to pack. Now on the other side, I removed that plastic cover already. Now the danger has really is really not there anymore. So I'm pretty much safe to disassemble the rest of here, which you see these joiners. And there's some relays in between and some fuses in between and a bunch of wires and all that kind of stuff. But now there's no actual current that's flowing on this side because the other side is all disconnected. So the series connection has been basically broke, leaving no current on this side to electrocute me and basically kill me. Because that's what would happen if I ended up shorting something out or touched the wrong parts. There's enough power in here to pretty much cook me up. So it's, I have to be very, very, very careful. And I wouldn't recommend anybody playing around with such a unit like this because it is extremely dangerous unless you know what you're doing and I would have no way of knowing but I know what I'm doing I've been working around electrical stuff for a very very long time so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all of the you see on this side first I will do these large joiner plates there there and there then I will just start disassembling the relays and the fuses relay fuse relays another relay and then I will remove this plate this plate this plate and this plate and this plate this plate and this plate and so on. Okay, all this other side is disconnected, disassembled from everything that needs to be disassembled from. So now the next part that I will approach are these top brackets here that hold the packs in. Here, 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 here. So they're on both sides. You can see them all along there. They actually hold these packs in place. So I'm going to go ahead and... 
Okay, I got all those brackets removed on both sides. Now these batteries are free to come out, lift up. But first, all these BMS boards, that's what these are. Battery management system. They're all tied together with wires. So now I need to disassemble all these wires. So the batteries are ready to lift out and they simply just squeeze a little tab there right here and then pull them up really that simple just like so it's really cold out today and you have the wires At this point, this battery is now safe. These are individual packs, which each pack is 40 volts. So I'm not completely safe, but for the most part, I'm not gonna get electrocuted with a really high voltage. I don't exactly know the number of DC volts it takes to kind of penetrate to electrocute, electrocute you. Um, and I guess that depends also on the sensitivity of a person. But just the same electrical current you don't want to be messing with because it's just don't need to get electrocuted is my theory I've been electrocuted a couple times and it's not fun it's not fun at all so you can see I have them all removed just about all of them they're just basically going from battery to battery to so they can monitor the batteries as they're charging and discharging and in another video I might show how one of these BSM BMS get hooked up and used but that won't be in this video that'll be another separate video by itself okay I believe I have all of them disconnected these other ones here I leave them intact they're a temperature sensor well, they're part of each each pack so now it's a matter of lifting the packs out and what I do is I just uh, take myself a piece of string with a little loop there and I put it on the one end and I kind of lift it, see it, see it lift it, and then I'll grab it with my other hand on this, on this point here, and it'll come out. There, there's one pack out. So there's 16 of these packs, you can see the slot there, there's 16 of these packs. I'll remove all 16 exactly the same as you just seen that one get removed. They're quite simple. You usually need a little bit of help. And that's what I use this little piece of rope for, just to give them the free point. And then once they're free like that, they lift right out very easy. So I will get to removing all those individual packs. And all the packs are removed. There's all 16 of them there. And back over here to the rest of the unit, I am going to remove the compartment, the individual holder of the packs. And that is basically bolted here, and here, and down there to the main frame both sides. So I'm going to get those big bolts undone and removed. There, there, and again on the other side. And that whole unit will slide out. It's a pretty heavy unit. But it will be free of the rest of the unit. And you will see what I mean when it's done. 
Okay, well there's the rack out. There's the unit that the pack slid into. Up here's where the fans were. I didn't show any of that stuff because it's pretty straightforward all that. And on this side here was where all the relays and fuses and shunt was. All the wiring has been removed. Here's the empty case. There's the shell. There's the angle irons. The brackets that were on the side bolted up to this thing here. You can see to here, into down there, and on the other side too. One more at the top. And here's the other angle iron there. Or bracket. And the packs. So that's just the beginning stages. But that's this this disassembling of one of them transit bus. I think it's I think it's called a B A E A one two three systems. That's what these cells are. Inside there, they're a lithium phosphate battery A one two three. Each pack, I believe, has ninety four cells in it. Them A one two three cells, lithium phosphate. One of the best batteries apparently on the planet. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that already have.